and the kids on outings, whether it's just for a drive, relieves a lot of boredom. Um, just going through the shopping centre and looking at things. But, uh, you can stay home pretty well for a week and not really take much notice of it, and then all of a sudden everything just falls down on top of you all at once, and you've just got to get up and go out. I know what I was like, and I don't want my kids to be like me. And I'm damn sure they're not going to be like Keith. Well, Keith got angry and kicked the bottom of the telephone box, and he's got him up for assault with bodily, actual bodily harm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, the baby's due, and so it means that I won't be at the birth if anything does go wrong. Are you unanimously agreed upon the birth? Yeah. Do you find the accused guilty or not guilty? Six months jail, suspended. And he's on two years good behaviour bond. And if he breaks the law in that time, he's gone. This is a big relief for her now. The thing is, you can have a baby in peace. Well, this is Amy. She was born last night at 7.30. And she's, what was she weigh? Seven pounds three. Yeah, and 19 and a half inches long. And she took 10 hours to get here. I think I'm a lot better looking now than when I was 14. I'm a lot more comfortable with my looks. I had a couple of jaw operations due to my teeth, because I always wanted really nice teeth. And in order to get them to sit properly, I had to have my top jaw broken and pulled up, out and down. But I'm quite pleased when I look in the mirror now. Josie, I should ask you this. It's now seven years later. Who are these people in your kitchen? <laughs> you meet last time. Seven years later, this is Wendy. That was only baby. It's Rebecca. Stand up. It's Rebecca. Seven <laughs> years later. And this is Wayne, my fiance. That's Hopefully, my husband next year. <laughs> oh, do I have to introduce everyone? Do I? Oh, God. This is my husband to be. <laughs> this is Neil. I met Neil five and a half years ago, I think it is. Uh, I wouldn't say it was love at first sight. Well, he was cute, <laughs> uh, and he grew on me. Uh, he's just very caring. At the moment, I've got dark hair, but I'll be going back blonde. Keith's jack of all trades and master of none, and he's virtually been keeping that since the last seven years. Keith's been at home a lot more than a lot of... Um, husbands would be, so therefore he's helped me a great deal. Well, he's helped me all along with the girls, nappy changing, bottle feeding. He's been great. Still got my terrible face, my big feet. I'm still a moody person. I mean, I had all them years at home with the girls when they were smaller and on the pension. I feel better in myself by being out working. Well, I'm committed, we'll just put it this way, I'm committed to work for the next five years to keep the house going. If I don't work for the next five years, we don't have the house. Working the two jobs, I, I get quite tired, which I suppose it makes me a bit more irritable. You got it, Rebecca? No. So it's kind of, I see them a few hours in the morning or a few hours in the evening. So we don't do as much as a family unit. I mean, Wayne has to take more of that part. Workers added an exciting element to my life, um, whereas I do have very sore feet by the end of it. It just makes me a different person while I'm working. It makes me a lot happier. And I should have done it a long, long time ago. Carrie is out for her last fling, I understand. So any of you single guys on board tonight would like to give Carrie her last fling. I think I'd like, you know, like a white wedding with a lot of people. You'll be right, TBS, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> If I could do my time again, I would enjoy my single life a bit longer yeah. and get married about 28, 30. But I'm quite content mm -hmm. the way I am now. Within the next few years, hopefully a miracle will happen and Keith and I will both have really, really good jobs or one of us will have a really good job. 
myself on a proper wedding. <laughs> I'd like to be married in a church. I wasn't married in the church first time. And I don't want to necessarily have a big reception, but I'd like to have the proper trimmings that go with the wedding. I don't think I'd sort of change anything in my life, really. I mean, there's a lot of things you'd most probably like to have done better, or maybe had a better jobs and gone overseas, but I've still enjoyed my life pretty well. Where do you think you'll all be then when I come back? How will I have changed in yeah. seven years' time? Yeah, what do you think? Well, I don't know. I think you might have to wait seven years to yeah. see. Well, you're not going to come back, are you? <laughs> well, what am I going to be doing? Uh, hopefully, we'll have a house and maybe one baby by then, in seven years' time. So Grandpa can be a great-grandpa again. Yep, happily married with a couple of children. Oh, here we are, Grandpa. Can we go around the block? <laughs> changed since the last time you were here. Got married, got divorced, bought Wayne out in the house, um, met Mick, had two more children, we built a house, we sold the house, we bought a country hotel and that's where we are today. Maybe if you've got too many kids and you happen to fall pregnant or your life's just turning out the way you want it to and you happen to fall pregnant then an abortion would probably be the answer. Well, the change of heart, I suppose, for the abortion would be, I suppose, because I'm pregnant now. Um, but I haven't decided what I'm doing yet in the year. Because it's, it's a very big decision for someone who's had your feelings for so long. Mm-hmm. Certainly is. A big decision to make. And one which I haven't yet made. What's your name? Hi. Have you got um, a mother called Diana? Yes. Can you take me to her? Knock, knock. Stranger. Hi. Long time no see. Thank you. How are you? Hello, how are you? Terrific. Look gorgeous. So do you. So, um, there are two questions everyone has about this film. One is, did Diana ever have that baby? Oh, that baby? Yeah. Yes. This little <laughs> bundle here is that baby. <laughs> and the second one is, is your house as neat as it was before? <laughs> no. Because you can see all the dust everywhere. Yes, yeah, changed in my life in the last seven years. Wow. Well, I've got a new kid, Bo. Um, I don't work anymore. All my girls have grown up. Life's still boring, but I'm happy. I did enjoy working, actually. I, I really loved it. But when I got pregnant again, and Bo came along, it was a little bit difficult to keep working. Sort of like in Bo's one great big massive hand for money out. Mum, are you ready? No, not yet. I, I did on the cheese a bit. Yep. Who's that? Bo. Do you mind? You're going to do that. So how'd your on. excursion go, Bo? Yeah, you don't know. No. Oh. You just go there for a day and you don't know. <laughs> Bo, what's the point of going on an excursion if you don't do nothing? So, do you remember? Do I remember? At the end of the other film. Yes, I said you won't be coming back, will you? <laughs> I said to you, as a beautiful bride, in um, seven years' time, what do you want? And what did you say, do you remember? Um, hopefully I'd be married. I have to think, yeah. House and a couple of kids. And, and I've got just that, just. So now I've got one of each. Little boy, he's five and a half. And Shannon, who's four weeks old. I then went for a job um, with STA, which is um, our Adelaide Public Bus Service and then trying to be a bus driver. I did enjoy that part of my life, so I'd have to say it was the best job I had. Mick was a bus driver at the time when I met him. He's got no children from a previous relationship or anything. Well, when we first started going out with each other, I'd said to him that I, I really didn't want to have any more children, and that was something that he had to weigh up, whether he wanted me and the two girls I already had, and uh, he decided, well, if that was what I wanted. Anyway, things changed, and here we are, two more children. <laughs> How's married life? Oh, pretty well. Pretty good. Well, we want the truth here. Yeah. No, we do. Oh, no, you do it. You have your little tips and that. Oh, Please, I'm torture. <laughs> no, no. Couldn't ask for a sweeter person than Kerry. <laughs>